Hey everyone, here's a quick breakdown of this Sub-Zero image that I made. I cut my subject out from the background and placed them onto a nice gradient background layer. Then I did some dodging and burning and color adjustments to help blend and match that gradient. I added some white glowing eyes and little wispy bits using a simple flowy brush. I then added some frost to the arms by bringing in an image of ice that I found online. I played around with the blending modes, added a layer mask, and just painted in the ice wherever I wanted to see it. For the 3D ice, I brought in a Megascan rock into Blender. Then I duplicated it. And again, and again, and again, and many, many, many times over. You can get away with using the same asset over and over again, as long as you change up the rotation and scale a lot. I went to render mode, added in a couple of lights, and then I moved to the shader editor. I deleted all the textures of the rock, except for the normal map, and played around with the color, roughness, transmission, and IOR sliders. At this point, it's just a lot of back and forth with the lights, materials, and placement until it looks good. I then rendered it out and brought it into Photoshop. I then adjusted the levels and colors a bit to match my image, duplicated that a few more times, and then added some motion blur to make it look a little bit more realistic. A good way to blend these into the background is by painting on a new layer set to screen with a soft round brush or a big smoky brush. Then I moved on to the foreground. I basically did the exact same thing as the background, but in front of my subject. I went back into Blender, made a few more renders of ice from different angles, brought them into Photoshop, add the ice, add a layer of misty fog, add the ice, add a layer of misty fog, rinse, wash, repeat. You really can't have too much misty fog here. I also added in some smaller bits of snow on ice on top of everything using a basic particle scatter brush. You can pretty much find this anywhere online. After that, I created one final layer with the blending mode set to add, and then I just painted in with a light blue brush some glows coming from the ice. I then finished it off with some sharpening, a little bit of chromatic aberration, and some color toning inside of Camera Raw. And that's basically it. Guys, if you like this video, maybe give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions about anything I did inside of this video, let me know in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you want to see more content like this in the future, consider subscribing. And until next time, stay creative.